morning, everyone. I'm glad you're here. Thank you very much for joining me. It is Monday, November 25th, 2024. Doing an update what's going on with the new Madrid fault system. Are you prepared for any type of disaster? Last night, Ukraine sent, what, six, I believe, at least six long-range missiles into Russia again. Again, crossing Russia's red line, as they call it. Yep, yep, I hope we don't have war before Thanksgiving. I hope we don't have war at all. I don't want to see missiles dropped on my grandkids or kids' heads. Definitely don't want to see a nuclear war. But late last night, at 7.52 p.m. local time, there was a magnitude 2.1 earthquake within the New Madrid seismic system. Interestingly, this earthquake was close to the same location uh, between 1811 and 1812, where they had multiple earthquakes. This one here was December in 1811, was a magnitude 8.0 along that same fault zone. Yeah, I got it drawn out here. This here in blue is the Cottonwood Grovewood Fault Zone. Oops, it went kind of crazy. It's actually a, a very wide um, area to have earthquakes. Uh, one person said they did feel this earthquake, but on USGS website of the felt reports, I do not see it marked on here. They gave it an intensity level of 2. Yeah, see, I don't see it on here. Now, intensity level 2 means it was felt by people if you're laying down, maybe at rest. Um, more so if it was on an upper floor of a building. Delicate, suspended objects may have been swaying a little bit. Did you feel this earthquake? Not unusual for USGS not to um, show the locations of the quakes or even to remove uh, the sites or the uh, messages that were sent into the Did You Feel It website. So it was near Blytheville, Arkansas. So USGS is reporting three earthquakes within this location in the last week. You know there's been more. Um, the 2.1 was seven miles in depth. Before that, there was a 1.8 up there by New Madrid. Yeah, in that lock zone. This area is, uh, yeah, the fault line's broken. That's why it it looks like that. And part of it's pushing north. There was also another 1.8 before that. It was 4.8 miles in depth. So here you can see back in uh, 1912, there was a magnitude. Actually, I think I got that wrong. 1812. Got the wrong date. Um, there was a magnitude 7.4. I'm going to have to fix that. And then, yeah, here in this seismic zone, um, 1812, a magnitude 8.4. And then going back farther south, uh, we got uh, 8.0, December 16th. And then close to where this earthquake occurred today. Yeah, well, I don't think I showed you that one. Um, a 7.0, December 16th. And then this one right here. Um, yeah, the uh, 8, well, actually 8.6. Yeah, big one. Um, 1811, December 16th. A lot of people still have the misconception that the smaller earthquakes would release pressure. So, you know, lessening the chance of a large earthquake. But that is not true. It is indication that, you know, pressure has built and one day they're going to have the big one. Who knows when? Hopefully not within our lifetime, but more likely it will. Yeah, it would be devastating for the country to have another large earthquake in the New Madrid sy system. Yeah, bridges would fall. It would probably interfere with uh, communication, uh, transportation, oil, gas lines, uh, fire, emergency services, things like that. You know, an example, okay, when they had that earthquake in by Fern Lake over on the west coast, bridges were uh, taken out, moved. And uh, people had, who had just regular mega medical problems couldn't get help. 
there was a man that um, had a heart attack who died because he had the ambulances couldn't get to his location because the bridge was out. Yeah, learn CPR, have medical supplies for different types of emergencies. So more likely it was someone here by um, Blythe uh, Bill that felt this earthquake. Did you feel it? How long did it last? What did the motion feel like? Please put that information down below. We enjoy reading your comments. I'm also on Patreon. If you want to um, jump on over and support my work, that would be great. Um, please um, share. Yeah, the censoring is getting really bad on YouTube. And I'll talk to you later. God bless you. Bye. Mm -hmm.